Hello again. So it's a, it's a Monday and I'm getting a chance to do a video here because uh, today is a vacation day for me and I don't have uh, a lot of plans today, taking it easy. So uh, good chance to do a video and, and I wanted to uh, target this band because they're uh, one of the favorites and uh, I mention them sometimes, but sometimes uh, don't mention them enough because I think they're really great. They got so much good music. And I'm doing an album ranking here on them, and they only have seven studio albums, so a little bit shorter video perhaps, but uh, in my world, an important video. And the band is Linkin Park, and they came out in 2000 and were a real groundbreaking band. Now they have put out some other content along the way, some remix records and some, uh, some stuff they did with some other artists as well, but uh, I'm talking about their seven studio albums, full-length studio albums, and... Uh, those of you that may be aware, uh, Linkin Park is uh, not happening right now or any longer, probably won't, I would imagine, because uh, we lost Chester Bennington, who was their main uh, lead vocalist, unfortunately died by suicide and a uh, real tragedy, but today we're celebrating the band, talking about their music because they made some, just every record actually is very good, and uh, some real special ones. I have all their stuff, and uh, yeah, so that's what I want to do is uh, celebrate Linkin Park and and uh, show you their records in order, ranking video. Number seven to me, number seven is um, called Hunting Party, The Hunting Party. Very good record. Um, I did a uh, in <laughs> pretty in-depth uh, calculation yesterday, listened to all their stuff, every single song did a calculation, a mathematical calculation to choose between the songs. You know, obviously, uh, you know, there's certain ones that I already knew about, but uh, yeah, this record is still good, but falls noticeably a little bit behind all of the other records, but still a very good quality record. It's got uh, Until It's Gone, a big song of theirs, Final Masquerade, A Line in the Sand, both really uh, fine songs. So that's The Hunting Party at number seven for me. Great artwork on this record. Linkin Park always had really good artwork. Number six, and I will say that number six, number five, and number four, three albums in a row here that, I mean, picking between those is really difficult because they're all good, equally good in my mind, pretty much. So this is number six, I had to pick, and I've got my reasons. This is certainly one of those... Uh, it was the record um, a little bit more, I don't want to say radio friendly, but it had more um, sort of like radio type of songs on it. Still good, still cutting edge though, and it is uh, Minutes to Midnight. Really cool record. Some great stuff on here. What I've Done was a huge song. Leave Out All the Rest, The Little Things Give You Away, Shadow of the Day. Those are standout tracks. What a good record. So that's number six, Minutes to Midnight. Number five, again, you know, picking between is tough, but this is a good record too. Great artwork. Living Things. Burn It Down was a pretty big song. Castle of Glass is a great song. Powerless is just an amazing song. Lost in the Echo. Good, good, good album. Number four. What a fantastic album this is. A Thousand Suns. Look at the cool artwork on this. It's such a good album. This is a unique album in that um, it's got the big song, The Catalyst, on this. Great songs like Iridescent and The Messenger, uh, Waiting for the End. Just good stuff. But it's an interesting record in that they uh, filled in any gaps within between songs. They filled in with mini songs a lot in this record. They've done that on a bunch of their albums, but this one especially, they did some experimenting with that, and it works. It's a great record. Flows good. All right, now into the big three. Now, so it was 2000 that they came out, and this this record here I'm going to show you, a lot of people would pick as their number one, but, uh, you know... I'm not going to argue that. It's, it was a really cutting-edge album at the time, and it holds up well even to this day. 
and it is hybrid theory. So this is their debut record. Had big cuts on this. One step closer, crawling. In the end, both, uh, all three of those songs, just huge. But it had lots of stuff on here that's good. Paper cut, run away, pushing me away. Very good stuff. So this is the band early on. So I've got two vinyl of uh, Linkin Park in my collection. And this is a real favorite of mine. This is my choice for number two in their discography. This is their final album they did, One More Light. And this is the album they did not that long before we lost Chester. And it's uh, really got a really beautiful modern sound to it. Songs like Nobody Can Save Me, Battle Symphony, Invisible, the song Heavy, One More Light. Now, this is a bit of a, uh, not creepy because it's a beautiful album, but it is eerie that uh, some of the songs, the lyrically that Chester sang, you know, certainly were obviously mirroring what was going on with him. So, but a great record, wonderful. And then their number one to me, and it's kind of like, when I did my calculation, it blew the others out of the water for sure. And uh, I don't think there's any arguing from too many people about this, but Meteora, what a cutting edge album. This was one of those touchstone perfect albums. It really is to this day. Songs like Breaking the Habit, Faint, Numb, Figure Nine, Somewhere I Belong, Lying from you, nobody's listening. The whole thing is really, really good. And this record is a very cool record. I've shown it before, I believe, but uh, I'll show it to you today because it's pretty unique. It's one of those cool, cool uh, vinyls. Look at that. It was a uh, special record store version of this record. I had uh, that and one more light on CD as well. Um, was in. I've been into Lincoln Park right, right from pretty much from the beginning. Um, what a fine band. Real shame what what has happened. Uh, you know, um, probably at the top of the hill. One of the certainly one of the bands at the very top of my hill that I never saw. Which I'm uh, darn never saw Lincoln Park live. That would have been really cool. Uh, but listening to their stuff again, it still sounds great, very fresh. I love a lot of, so much of their music. What I love about their stuff is that they've got this really, that's the whole point, you know, it's hybrid. It's, a, it's, it's the hard, crunching rock, alternative rock stuff, but then mixed with the beautiful vocals from Chester, and he could really sing, and uh, a lot of really great songs, beautiful songs. So, Great in the car, Lincoln Park. <laughs> great in the car, great on headphones for sure. So that's my video today, Lincoln Park uh, ranking video. And uh, subscribe if you like my videos and are having fun with me along the way. And I hope you're still watching. And uh, I'll come at you again in, you know, days now, a week or so. And I tend to be, it surrounds the weekends. Um, I've got some work to do because my next idea, again, I like this. Uh, fun for me, I'm learning a lot delving into my stuff but uh, I'm going to focus on some uh, producers that make some records that that we you know I want to highlight their their efforts and also uh, point out a couple of records that might be a little bit of a surprise to to learn that uh, who the producers are on these records so yeah that's what I'm going to do next next video so there's work to do with that all the best to you thanks for watching and I hope everyone stays well take care bye